Hey guys, Imran here. Today I'll be showing you how to install Google Mobile Services onto your Huawei device without the annoying pop-ups and device certification errors that you might get from other installation methods. For this demonstration, I'll be using the Huawei Mate XS, but this will also work for your P40 and Mate 30 series phones as well. So to get started, you will need three main things. The first one being a Type-C USB drive or an OTG cable with a normal USB drive like mine over here. The second would be two sets of files, first one being the LZ Play backup file and the second one would be the Google Apps installation files. Links to these files will be down in the description below. So once you have downloaded the files, simply extract it to the root of your USB drive. Now, let's get to it. The first thing that you want to do is to plug in your USB drive and then open up your app gallery search for the app called Backup and tap on the update button open up the app click on next agree and select external storage over here select USB storage and you will see the LZ Play Backup over here. Tap onto it, click on Restore, and key in the password. Once the restore is done, click on Done. And you notice a blue icon app over here. Tap onto it. Click on Activate and Allow. And you will see errors over here. Clear your memory and open, it, open up the same app again. Now click on the blue button once and minimize the app. So now what you will need to do is to install the first six Google app files. So to do that, open your files, go on to categories, select your USB storage and under the Google installation folder, you'll find all your Google installation apps. So notice how there is a total of nine files over here. So for this step, what you need to do is to install the first six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So once you have installed the first six apps, what you will need to do is to add your Google account. So to do that, go to settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, select user and accounts, click on add account and select Google, tap on OK and select existing. Give it some time to prepare. Now enter your Google account ID and password. Now take note that if you have more than one Google account, Repeat this same step to add each of the account as you will not be able to do so later on. Once you added all your accounts, clear your memory and go back to your file manager. Select your USB drive, Google installation. Now what you need to do is to install the seventh Google app over here which is, which is Google services. So once you have installed this 7 app, 
give it a while and you'll notice that there will be error messages, error notifications rather that will be appearing. Yeah, so this is the error notification that I was talking about. And you'll notice that Play Store is updating. So give it some time to update. So what will happen is that this error notification, it will keep on appearing. So what we'll do right now is to ignore it and set the phone to silent for the time being. Now, go to your Play Store. And search for the app which is called Device ID. Scroll to the bottom. Now scroll to the bottom and look for the device ID which is by VTechno. Now tap on to install. And once you have installed, open the device ID app and grant the permission. Click on allow. And over here, you notice that there is a Google Services Framework ID over here. So next, what you need to do is clear your memory. Go to your settings. Click on apps. Show system processes. And find Google Play Services over here. So now what you will need to do is to click on force stop and uninstall Google Play services. Clear memory. So once that's done, go back to your file manager. And what you will need to do now here is to install the 8 Google app, which is the GMS core mod number one. Now, at this point, the not notifications will continue to appear over here. So what you will need to do next is go to your settings again. Go to apps. Click on show system processes. And now what you will need to find is the Google services framework, which is the last one over here. Tap onto it. Click on storage and clear the cache and clear the data. Now once that is done, go to your device ID app over here, tap onto it and you'll notice that your JSF ID is now no longer there. So now what we'll need to do next is to regenerate the JSF ID over here. So in order to do that, open up your Play Store app and you notice that now you will see an error message over here. But if you do not see this error message, try to close your Play Store again and, and open it up again. So over here, what you will need to actually do is to keep on pressing the retry button until a GSF ID is regenerated over here in your device ID app. So before you do that, what you can do is actually to restart your phone. Tap onto your Play Store icon. Keep pressing on the retry button. Over here, 
open up device ID until you see the GSF ID again over here. Now, you notice that there is a GSF, finally a GSF ID that is regenerated. And what you will also notice is that you no longer receive the error notifications like before. So this is a very important step before you can proceed on to the next one. So at this stage, if you are still receiving the error notifications after regenerating a new GSF ID, what you will need to do is actually to go back to clearing your data and cache from the Google Services Framework and repeat the retry button step until you regenerate a new GSF ID again. And also to make sure that you will not receive any error notifications like what I have over here. So once you have confirmed that you have no more error notifications, go back to apps, settings, go back to apps, Search for Google, click on Google Play Services, click on Force Stop, and uninstall. Now go back to your file manager, click on your USB drive, open your Google installations folder, and now the final step would be to install the knife. Google app, which is the GMS Core Mod 2. Click on Allow and Install. Finally, what you will need to do is to restart your phone. And you are basically done. Now, Google Mobile Services is fully installed and you, are, you can continue to go to the Play Store and install your Google Apps as per normal. And that is the end of the video. I hope that this video has been useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this one, do leave a like and subscribe as I will be having more content lined up soon. Thank you and see you in the next one.